Here with uh, Jeff Abel, tonight's Boston Louis Memorial feature winner. Uh, Jeff, tell us about your victory tonight. Uh, just a good one tonight. Um, the car was just as good as it was last year and everything. But it was just great to see such a large field come out tonight. It really competitive field. Um, the car was just absolutely amazing. It's going to make my job that much easier. And it was just a blast to drive. So we had a lot of fun. You won this race a year ago. Did you ever expect that you'd be able to make it back-to-back -back wins? You know, I, I was thinking about it a lot this week, and I was really hoping that we could do that. Uh, I knew that I'd have the car to do it, and then Anthony went out, he won the first race in the Lima Light, and uh, as a teammate, so I, I knew I had to do something with it. And um, I, I kind of, I knew it, the car would be there, I just knew I had to drive a smart race, a patient race, and I knew we could do it again. And this car, of course, won back on uh, the Wednesday night show here last last month, so we know the four cars usually a pretty good piece when it comes to this place, but is there anything that you you found at this racetrack, even back to the Ford Focus, that you've always run well at this racetrack? Yeah, I, uh, that line, I've just, I've had everybody come up and say, you know, you can't do that, you just can't run it, and I've had so much success here and everything, but um, it's just, this, the track is just, has a lot of secrets, um, there's a, a lot you can do with that, it's a driver's track, you just really enjoy driving and everything. Um, we always have a great setup for this track, so we just go on there and do the best we can. Tell us about the pass for the lead. You had the lead by lap 10 or so and uh, took you, off. You know, I, I was shocked to be up there, and as I think everybody else was from 14th or 13th where I started, get right up there. I was expecting by the end of the race maybe it was going to be a last five lap move or something, and uh, so I couldn't believe when it was lap 10 and I was already getting up there. By that point, I didn't want any cautions. Of course, they all came after lap 10, but it was just the car was that good that I could just get up there that fast, and that's probably as close to working as I've ever had a race car. And I've talking to a few guys before the race. They said they were really struggling to find a setup on this place. Had some different tours here in the last month and various rubber and with the rain. Did you find that a, 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 a challenge to get the car hooked up tonight? You know, the track was definitely different than it has been in years past. Uh, I mean, even from last year, it was a completely different racetrack. So, uh, if we come back normally with the same setup year to year, it just takes a little fine tuning. And we know the track well enough that I, I have enough experience with it that we basically know what we have to do. Uh, I know my own car, my cousin was driving tonight, which did an awesome job. Uh, we're struggling with that a little bit. We got that a little bit better tonight, so hopefully we'll go back with that and be strong fast. And you had a, a lead of, I don't know, they were saying a straightaway, I guess, at one point in this race before the caution fell. And then you look in your mirror and you have different drivers now to battle between Derridis and Cabral. Uh, did, did that change your focus at all, or, or no. you had to step it up? I knew how good the car was all day. I knew how good the car was during the race, so I, I was confident there, but then I look up at the leaderboard. Chris just won last weekend. He was flying. We have Randy Cabral, two-time winner of the race there. He's got, you know, multi-time winner champion and everything. Russ Storm was won the race before. He's won all the races and everything. And uh, so you have to you have to be on your toes a little bit when those, when those guys are really kind of fun. Uh, just had to, like I said, run a smart race. Um, With this win under your belt, that it, it keeps your resume looking very good for this place as you keep winning, but what's the next place that we might see you with the NEMA circuit? Um, I should be running my own car at uh, Waterford Speedboat for the Maryland's Passion. Uh, race there for 45 laps, so that's, that's another big race for us. Hoping to uh, have a good show in there. We went tested. Um, we did really well with my own car. Uh, so I, I think that'll be the next one. And from that point, it's kind of whatever races are left, we'll probably make all those. And you still plan on focusing on the Super Mods and what's left for their season? Yeah, we haven't had that out this year. Um, I, I think possibly next year we might get the car back out, or you know, who knows what we'll end up doing. But we just want to really focus on our new program this year and get that going. So uh, it seems like that's working out a lot better for us now. So we'll see what we can do.